all the way up. Whoa, what the? The world's biggest amp for the world's smallest guitar. <laughs> oh my god. He just got blasted. Whoa, yeah. I can roll. You better not hook up to the amplifier. There's a slight possibility of overload. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Good. I'll see you tonight. Don't forget now, 1.15 a.m. Twin Pines Mall. 1.15, okay, he better be there on time. I'm late for school. <sighs> he says radioactive material in the garage. How funny. I'm learning how to skateboard. The doc said all his clients 25 minutes slow. Doc? You remind me of your father when he went here. He was a slacker too. Dang, you're old. Oh, now, Mr. Strickland. I notice your band is on the roster for the dance audition. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. Oh my God. Yeah, well, history is gonna change. Next place. For the pinheads. The pinheads. <laughs> yeah! Why you look so unentertained? Hold it. Hold it, fellas. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. Dude, for real? Where's the next group, please? I swear to God, if we hear the next group in their freaking dookie booty, then I'm pissed. What if I send in the tape and they don't like it? I mean, what if they say I'm no good? Bye. That's the power of love. <laughs> Isn't this a... That's the power of love. <laughs> I can't believe you loaned me a car without telling me it had a blind spot. Blind spot. I could have been killed. Now, now, Biff, now... Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Oh. Uh, think, McFly. Right. Think. I'll uh, finish those reports on up tonight, and I'll run them on over first thing tomorrow, all right? Hey, not too early. I sleep in Saturday. Oh, McFly, your shoe's untied. Oh. This guy kind of sucks. What are you looking at, butthead? I needed that car in the morning, Dad. I mean, do you have any idea how important this was to me? Do you have any clue? I'm sorry. What is going on with this family? See you later, Pop. Hey, Marty. Got your answering service while you're outside pouting over the car. Jennifer Parker called you twice. I don't like her, Marty. Any girl who calls up a boy is just asking for trouble. Well, jeez. It'll just happen. Like the way I met your father. That was so stupid. Grandpa hit him with the car. <laughs> if Grandpa hadn't hit him, then none of you would have been born. Yeah, well. It was the night of that terrible thunderstorm, remember, George? Is that when the clock tower got zapped? Oh, yeah, he's got to go meet, um... What is everybody calling him? Doc? Woo! Is that Einstein, his dog? How freaking cute! Boy, huh? Einstein. What the? Is she supposed to be recording this? <laughs> Einstein. Whoa. Out of time. Oh my gosh. Marty, you made it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm familiar with Rick and Morty. <laughs> this is... Bear right? with me, Marty. All your questions will be answered. Roll yeah. tape. Okay. Sit down. Einstein. That's it. So Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check them. Good. Watch your head. What? Sending him out? Get that thing hooked up to the car. Watch this. Obviously, yeah. it's time travel. Yeah. Time traveling or something. <gasps> oh my god, Einstein! Tokyo Drift! When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious. Sh That's it? 
Is Einstein even ready? Poor puppy. <laughs> He's like stepping away. Dude, I would too. What's even going on? Look at Einstein's like. He's so confident. <gasps> Whoa. What did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. Ha <laughs> ha How cute. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Now why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! <gasps> oh my god, he just reappeared. Is Einstein still in there? Puppy. <laughs> Einstein! Hey! <laughs> this readout tells you where you're going. This one tells you where you are. This one tells you where you were. <laughs> this readout tells you where you're going. This one tells you where you are. This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. Flux capacitor. Flux, Flux capacitor. capacitor. Uh, does it run like on, on regular unleaded gasoline? Unfortunately, no. It requires something with a little more kick. Plutonium. You don't just walk into a store and, and buy plutonium. Did you rip that off? Of course. From a group of Libyan nationalists. He's so funny. Come on. Let's get you a radiation suit. We must prepare to reload. Oh, my God. What? Oh, oh. I almost forgot my luggage. Uh, what is that? Oh my God. Who goes there? They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Who found you? Who do you think? The Libyans! They got a freaking gun, bro! Why do you look? He should look down the barrel. <gasps> no! Oh no. <gasps> Can he get him? Wait, oh, oh no, he's going in it. He's gonna. <gasps> oh my god. Off he goes. Well, they're awake. Look! <gasps> you think it's a UFO? <laughs> Listen, whoa! <laughs> This is crazy. So he's... Oh, he's probably losing it. What in the world are those? Little pogo shoes? It's going and working. What oh. do you think you're doing? <gasps> Biff. Hey, I'm talking to you, McFly, you Irish bug. Oh, hey, Biff. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Yeah, you got my homework finished, McFly? It's his dad. It wasn't due till Monday. Hello? <laughs> Hello? I'll get kicked out of school. Uh, you wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Well, now, of course not. No, I wouldn't no. want that to happen. What are you looking at, butthead? Dork thinks he's going to drown. Yeah. So uh, how about my homework, McFly? Not his dad picking on him. Uh, all right, bye-bye. <laughs> what? You're George McFly. Stand tall, boy. Have some respect for yourself. Don't yeah, for real. People. Yeah, well, is he gonna say something? I mean, no, well, he can't. Hey, Dad, George. Hey, you in the bike? Hey, Dad, George. Okay, he's gonna keep us cool. He can't let him know that, right? Isn't that the rules of time travel? You have to be careful. 
One little thing could change the trajectory. No, he is not a little peeping Tom, little nasty, nasty. Dude, be for real. He's a peeping Tom. <coughs> Dad! <sighs> Help me take him in the house! Oh my god. Oh, I see this is going in the, in, I don't, not the right direction. You're my mom. You're my mom. My name is Lorraine. But you're, uh, you're so, uh, you're so thin. Just relax, Calvin. You've got a big bruise on your head. Marty. Clyde. You mind if sit here? How is he gonna get out of this? No. Fine. No, good. Fine. Quick. Put your pants back up. What the heck is she doing? Oh my god, he's been violated by his past mom. So you're my Uncle Joey. Better get used to these bars, kid. What? <laughs> Cause his he's in jail. Oh that's terrible. Goodness. Stop fing with that thing and come in here and eat your dinner. Dinner. Hey. Hey, I've seen this one. What do you mean you've seen this? It's brand new. Yeah, well, I saw it on a rerun. It's a rerun. You'll find out. You know Do you do you know where Riverside Drive is? It's uh, in the other end of town, a block past Maple. East end of town. That's Maple, that's uh, that's John F. Kennedy Drive. Who the hell is John F. Kennedy? Um, mother? Uh, oh, yeah, because it's the Marty 50s. Marty's out of town. 55. Don't you think he ought to spend the night? I mean, after all, Dad almost killed him with the car. Mm. Yeah. And he can sleep in my room. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go. Thanks very much. Uh, see you all later. Much later. <laughs> much, much later. He's a very strange young man. Lorraine, you ever have a kid who acts that way, I'll disown you. Surprise, shoddy! Whoa, what an even cooler looking house. Come on. Doc? Don't say a word. Quiet. Doc. I'm from the future. doesn't work at all. <laughs> you gotta help me. You were the only one who knows how your time machine works. Look at this picture. It's my brother, my sister, and me. Class of 1984. Pretty mediocre photographic fakery. They cut off your brother's hair. What? You're telling the truth. Good night, future boy! No, wait, Doc! Future boy. Bruce, and you fell, and you hit your head on the sink, and that's when he came up with the idea for the flux capacitor. Believe him now. Oh yeah, they gotta go out there and get the frickin' time machine. Flux capacitor. Flux capacitor. Take a shot every time somebody says flux capacitor. I finally invent something that works! We've gotta get you home! Yes, cool. Marty, I'm sorry, but the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. You say? Bolt of lightning. Oh, the freaking clock tower. Next Saturday night, we're sending you back to the future. <laughs> Into the camera. To the future. You must not see anybody or talk to anybody. Anything you do could have serious repercussions on future events. You understand? Ooh, well, the thing is, man, the thing is. Marty. You interacted with anybody else today besides me? Yes, he has. Let me see that photograph again of your brother. It's not good. Just as I thought. This proves my theory. Look at your brother. <gasps> He's disappearing. Yeah. It's like it's like he's been erased. Erased from existence. So fate 
In this universe, fate is not a thing, then. What did your mother ever see in that kid? Oh, no, Doc, I don't know. I, I guess she felt sorry for him because her dad hit him with the car. Hit me with the car. Hey, George. Buddy. Yeah, good. There's somebody I'd like you to meet. Lorraine? Calvin! It's really a pleasure to meet you. How's your head? Oh, uh, good. Fine. Oh, Dang, didn't work. Oh, come on. Isn't he a dream boat? Yeah. Doc, Doc we have a yeah. problem. This is more serious than I thought. Whoa, this is heavy. There's that word again. Heavy. <laughs> is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? <laughs> <laughs> of course, the enchantment under the sea dance. They're supposed to go to this. That's where they kiss for the first time. All right, kid. You stick to your father like glue and make sure he takes you to that dance. George, what are you writing? Uh, stories. Yeah, let me read some. Oh, no, 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 no. I never, I never let anybody read my stories. Why not? Dang. Oh, what if they didn't like them? What if they told me I was no good? I guess that would be pretty hard for somebody to understand. Um, okay. No, not hard at all. I feel kind of bad for his dad. All you gotta do is go over there and ask her. What, right here, right now in the cafeteria? What if she said no? I don't know if I could take that kind of a rejection. You know you want me to give it to you. <laughs> Shut your filthy mouth. I'm not that kind of girl. Biff is... Biff is horrible. Ew, God, gross. You heard her. She said, get your meat hooks off. Ah, oh, please. So what's it to you, butthead? Get him in trouble. Since you're new here, uh, I'm gonna cut you a break. So why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? Why doesn't anybody ever say it right? No one ever says it right. Make like a tree and leaf. Leaf, people. Make like a tree and leaf. Like, even you could say, make like a maple and leaf. I'm telling you, George, if you do not ask Lorraine to that dance, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. Not you, nor anybody else on this planet is going to make me change my mind. Damn. It's in a tight spot. It's fiction theater. God, he's playing Van Halen and Doozies. My name is Darth Vader. <laughs> I couldn't have thought of a different name. I am an expert. Oh, I got a on my Marty! Head. Look, I need your help. I have to ask Lorraine out, but I don't know how to do it. All right, okay, listen, keep your pants on. She's over in the cafe. He's such a nervous little Nelly. Lorraine, my density has popped me to you. What? My destiny. Oh. I'm your density. Destiny. And you're flying. Oh, I thought I told you never to come in here. Beth. Oh. oh, Beth. He's so little. Beth. Ugh. I'm like, oh, I'm caught up in the heat of it. I'm like, what's about to happen, dude? Damn! Oh my, oh my god, he's a dream! No! <laughs> Little wooden skateboard? Wow, look at him go! Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Got a blast. Oh shoot. Board with wheels. He's an absolute dream. Dude, it's not working and it's bad. He's gonna disappear. Good, I'm glad. Yeah, take that nasty, nasty poo, poo car. I'm gonna get that son of a bitch. Dude, girl, you need to let it go. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. 
Uh oh. Please, Marty, don't tell me. No man should know too much about his own destiny. I don't understand. I do understand. If I know too much about my own future, I can endanger my own existence. You're right. Huh? Let me show you my plan. Is it bad? By the way, what happened today? Did he ask her out? I think so. It's your mom! She's packed it down! Let's cover the time. I think a man should be strong. So he can stand up for himself. The doc is... And protect the woman he loves. The doc is dying, dude. Yeah. I still don't understand. George, she wants to go with you. She just doesn't know it yet. Look, you're not going to be picking a fight, Dad. Dad, Dad, Daddy-o. We'll rescue, right? Okay. You mean you're going to go touch her on her... No, no, George. You walk up, you open the door, and you say... You're lying, George. Oh, uh... Hey, you, get your damn hands off her. You punch me in. I just, I wish I wasn't so scared. George, there's nothing to be scared of. All it takes is a little self-confidence. Man, he really needed that. <laughs> God, it just sucks he's a peeping Tom. I'm really going to miss you, Marty. I'm really going to miss you. Yeah, how's that going to affect, how does that affect their relationship in the future? Because... Talk about the future. No! Marty! We've already agreed that having information about the future could be extremely dangerous. The night that I go back in time, you will be shot. Marty. Okay. One of my favorite things to do is I love live jazz music. You like jazz? Right. He better get his hiney in gear. Do you mind if we park for a while? That's a great idea. I'd love to park. Huh? Well, Marty, I'm almost 18 years old. What? Girl, what? Marty, you seem so nervous. Is something wrong? Tell her she looks ugly? I don't know. Be mean. Oh my god. Ray, Ray, what are you doing? <laughs> Did you smoke too? Marty, you're beginning to sound just like my mother. <laughs> the irony. You do? So they stressing me out because I give his parents. <sighs> what? I don't worry. Ew! This is all wrong. It's like I'm kissing my brother. I guess that doesn't make any sense. Oh my God! Believe me. It makes perfect sense. He caused 300 bucks damage to my car, you son of a- 300 bucks damage? Dude, that's not bad. Hold on. That's not bad. Well, look at what we have here. No, no, sitting right here with me. Come on, Marie. Ew, what? Well, come on, this ain't no peep show. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. It's not good. It's not good, man. That's for messing up my hair. The hell are you doing to my car? Hey, beat it, sp Dude, they, the jazz crew should beat their, beat them. Come here, where are your keys? Hey, their keys are in the trunk. Uh, he's not gonna be able to, I don't know, he better be able to do it. Hey, you, get your damn hands off. Oh. George, help me, please. Just turn around, McFly. Mm. Okay. No help. No, Biff. You leave her alone. Mm. All right, McFly. Oh. Biff, stop it. Oh. 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 Come on. Damn it, man, it's slicing your hand. Who's are these? Mine. Thanks. Take the lie. Mm, scared. I'm gonna break his arm. Biff. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Dude. Good job, dude. Yeah. Yes, good job. It worked. Are you okay? Mm. Um, dang. Is it all about circumstance? Like, does it... Oh, man, I thought that would fix it. Well, you gotta play. See, that's where they kiss for the first time on the dance floor. And if there's no music, they can't dance. If they can't dance, they can't kiss. If they can't kiss, they can't fall in love, and I'm history. Hey, man, the dance is over. Unless uh, you know somebody else that can play the guitar. Okay, so do they need to kiss? I kind of thought it would fix it, but... My darling dear, love... Strive, fly. Cutting in. Dude. <gasps> hey, boy. You all right? Dude, this girl is having all sorts of problems. He was so close. He's disappearing. <gasps> oh no. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh. Does that help? <laughs> oh, okay. It worked. Come on, man. Let's do something that really cooks. Something that really, really cooks. Hey, it's his opportunity. People are actually listening to. Him. All right. All right. This is uh, this is an oldie. Well, it, it's an oldie where I come from. All right, guys. Let's try this blues riff and B. Watch me for the changes and uh, try to keep up. Okay. That's so funny. Oh, they're going to eat it up. Dang! I feel like even something like this could just mess everything up. Yeah, give me a blues riff and B. Oh, okay. You know that new sound you're looking for? Well, listen to this. <laughs> and he's so cute. He's freaking rocking out. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's lost in the sauce. Sorry, guys. But rock and roll. I can't guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. But your kids are gonna love it. <laughs> but your kids are gonna love it. Um, um, I hope you don't mind, but George asked if he could take me home. Right, good, good, Lorraine. Marta, will we ever see you again? I guarantee it. Cool. Good luck, you guys. I mean, like, hopefully his dad... I don't know. It's a little bit more confident. Okay, I keep forgetting about the clock. We got a clock and dock doing work. I'm kid. You're late. I had to change. You think I'm going back in that, that suit suit? Hey, zoot suits are like totally like a thing now. When the salon goes off, you hit the gun. Right. What's the meaning of this? You find out in 30 years. I refuse to accept the responsibility. <gasps> hey, Scott. Oh. <sighs> You get the cable, I'll the rope down Oh no. A freaking course. Ooh. Wow. Oh. 
Oh, he got it with his foot. Uh, this is stressing me out. Come on. Okay, yeah! Hunk! He's gotta get out of there. What? Oh my god. <laughs> what are we doing? gonna go away. Oh, what is it gonna do? Oh no. How's he gonna make this happen? Plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Dude, it freaking worked. <laughs> you did it, dog. Okay, and they're off. Maybe go take... Oh, well... Sure. Go steal the... Go steal the... Go steal the stuff. Doc's dead. Doc is dead. He's still dead. Him is still dead. Okay, but... You're alive. <sighs> okay. Hey, he taped it back together. What about all that talk about screwing up future events? What the hell? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Off he goes. Yeah, I was wondering, like, he didn't have, like, any blood on his... Oh, 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 Rima. Wow. Were yeah. you cheating? No. Oh, my God. Mom. Dad. George. <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead. Aren't you going up to the lake tonight? You've been planning it for two weeks. Mom, we talked about this, but how can I go to the lake? Car's wrecked. Wrecked? When the hell did this happen? And why, why am I told? Yeah, I'm sure the car's fine. Why am I always saying? See, there's Biff out there waxing right now. Uh, now, Biff, I want to make sure that we get two coats of wax this time, not just one. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. McFly. I, I meant I was just starting on the second coat. Yeah, Biff, what a character. Uh, oh, how the roll. Oh, how the tables have turned. The rolls are reversed. For him. You're all waxed up, ready for tonight. Keys. Oh, hey. That's the power of the. <laughs> <laughs> is that the Toyota commercial song? Like, how the- Whoa! <laughs> Marty! Whoa, look at- You've gotta come back with me! His tie. Where? Back to the future! Well, bring it along! This concerns her, too! Wait a minute, Doc. Well, what are you talking about? What, what happens to us in the future? It's your kids, Marty! Something has gotta be done about your kids! Hey. That's kind of nice that they end up together. Road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Whoa. <laughs> we were talking about this the other day. What, what, like, if a UFO is then identified, right, like one that's an alien, if you identify what a UFO is, then what, then at that point, then what do you call it? IFO doesn't sound as cool. Okay, so this is fun. This is a fun movie. So Marty McFly, like you're piecing together the time machine. And it's like now it's like, I don't know. I feel like so many people have uh, worked on the concept of a time machine and like how it works. And I don't know, at least with my friends, like we've all talked about, you know, how would that work? And like, um, you know, if you change one sequence of events and it can affect everything else, blah, 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 right? 
Um, which I like, but I don't know. Sci-fi. It is sci like sci-fi. You get comedy, and it's kind of like this little like adventure that he springs out onto, um, into the past, and the fact that he was able to like still change the trajectory of the future for something good or like what would be his present for something good is fantastic and yeah it ends on that note of him coming back <laughs> of doc coming back to be like no it's not you it's your kids like right it's like okay what is next and what is in the future because he comes out of the car looking all dressed up and crazy um so i don't know hopefully i get to see a second movie but i think for i don't know that i have a ton to say uh right now i know chad and i will have a, a more in-depth discussion about the movie since i'm so new to it and he's the buff he's the movie buff so uh i'll dig into this a little bit more later but i mean overall love this movie super fun and i would watch it again <laughs> i love you guys i'll see you next time bye